I'm gonna do something now that I wouldn't even dream doing with any other laptop bar a ThinkPad, and that's this. Let's get rid of Windows Home and let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. New codes, new discount. You can get Windows Professional Office. Paste my code. Boom. It's Windows Pro time. All right, if you're new around here, come on. Get on the Woo Train, sub up. And if you like these videos, you know what to do. And people that have been missing my videos, make sure you click that bell icon. So this is the ultimate ThinkPad X buyer's guide, which is the best for you. I'm going to be talking about the three Rolls Royces in their lineup, the Novo's best laptops they make. Well, certainly if we talk about the X1 Carbon, that is their absolute Rolls Rolls Royce. That is the laptop they're known for best, but I will be comparing it to the other models. There are other ThinkPads, but the X1 is their thin, light, premium ones. So today we're going to have a look at the X1 Carbon, which is a 14-inch Ultrabook, the X1 Yoga, which is a 14-inch 2-in-1, and the X1 Extreme, which is their 15-inch XPS 15 MacBook Pro competitor, you know, premium 15-inch powerhouse. Now they also have an X280 and an X380, which are just smaller versions of the Carbon and the Yoga, so I'm not going to include those. But when it comes to ThinkPads, they are legendary. If you don't know, all the ThinkPads have that little red nipple in the middle. That's how you know it's a ThinkPad straight away. They're usually black. They should always be black. You should never buy a yellow Ferrari. It should always be red. That's the same with ThinkPads. They should always be black. When I used to work at a company that used to lease out computers, so we used to lease out Macs and PCs, ThinkPad is the king. Everybody wanted ThinkPads because they can be managed in big fleets, etc. They have all those dock features, all those IT features professionals want like, you know, wake on LAN, all that sort of stuff to manage multiple computers, that's where they excel. And that's why they sort of look black and they sort of look business-like. Now, you know, they're no nonsense, but the X-Series, are, you know, made out of carbon fiber. Man, it doesn't get more exotic than that. And they're built friggin' tough. I mean, they're probably the toughest computers. If you talk about their ThinkPad lineup, they can be bashed and crashed. They're made for this. Even when you had spinning hard drives in it, these are the ones you could bash and crash the most and it wouldn't kill your hard drive. And it has to be because they're used on the road by road warriors. So anyway, let's get into comparison. So I'm going to just talk about the 15 inch Extreme. You know if you need this. Your video editor, content creator, you know, someone that likes the game on the side, someone that needs 3D power, this is what you get. Has a dedicated GTX 1050 Ti and a six core 45 watt CPU. So it is a powerhouse, compares to the XPS 15, compares to the MacBook Pro. This is what you need if you need the power and the big screen. This is what I would probably buy. It is bigger, it is heavier. That being said, it's probably one of the lightest 15 inch laptops going around actually. It weighs just a whisker heavier than the MacBook Pro, which is pretty much the lightest one. Yeah, that's like four pounds. Awesome 4K display you can get, you know, 100% Adobe RGB. Great keyboard, best keyboard in the class. Also a good trackpad, all the ports you want, Thunderbolt, everything. So if you need that power, this is the ThinkPad to get. But not everyone needs that, right? And this is sort of new to their lineup. But not everyone needs that power. And if you do need that power, you will know. Just get that one. Some people want thinner, lighter. They need for productivity, you know, light video editing, you know, Photoshop, stuff like that. And that's where the X1 Carbon and the X1 Yoga come in. These are both 14-inch premium Ultrabooks. The Yoga, as the name suggests, is the more versatile one. It is a little bit heavier but it does all the two-in-one tricks. And the X1 Carbon is just the duck's nuts. It is the Rolls Royce of their lineup. It's the one they've iterated the most. It is their most polished product. So let's go in for a closer look between these two. Which one's for you? When it comes to design, they're not going to win any design awards, although they look pretty neat and tidy. That sort of matte black finish. They're very black, nice soft touch. I have to say, you know, I've got a soft spot for ThinkPads. I used to use them when they were IBM. So, you know, some people might think their design is a little bit dated compared to these like premium laptops with metal finishes. Actually, in June, they're going to be bringing out new model of the Yoga that will have a metal finish and a carbon fiber finish on the um, carbon. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just leave them black, I'd say. I think, you know, they've got a thing there. Everybody recognizes them. I don't think they have to mess with colors and stuff like that. Just leave them how they are. 
car is just like a Mac. It's just, you know, a Mac's just that metal premium build. You know what it looks like. You can recognize them from a mile away. And same with these sort of things. Let me know if you do think the actual um, design is a little bit dated. But it's just like, you know, you see a Ferrari, right? And it's a yellow Ferrari. And you're thinking, what? the hell who would buy a yellow ferrari a ferrari doesn't look right unless it's red and i think that's the same with the think pads the think pads don't look right unless they're black oh, well that's what i think anyway how do you choose in between these two the x1 carbon sixth generation which is this one or the x1 yoga third generation now a lot of people say these are exactly the same laptops other than the yoga does two in one flip that's not exactly right other than the two-in-one feature that you get on the Yoga, there are some key differences between these two. So first, let's start with the X1 Carbon here. It has a smaller power supply. We're talking, you know, 45 watts versus 65 watts on the Yoga. Same CPUs inside. So in that sense, they are exactly the same. We're talking eighth generation Cabulay cars. You know, these are quad core 15 watt parts. But because this has a 65 watt power supply, this one goes harder for longer. So for performance, this one is better. You can also see the footprint difference. Have a look here. You can see how much taller the Yoga is. And it's a bigger footprint overall. These do have both the same displays. This is a touch display. This one is not a touch display, but they both are the 1440p display. You can get full HD options on these, and you can also get the 1440p Dolby Vision um, HDR 500 nit models, which you know if you're into watching you know content and stuff like that i would go with that it costs more but it's worth it but these both have the 1440p display i assume they are the same panel just this one is touch and glossy this one is matte so when it comes to keyboard and trackpad this is the god this has a better trackpad than this one the yoga and it has a better keyboard in fact this is the best keyboard i've used on a laptop period it's one of the best trackpads not the best probably the surface book 2 would be better and maybe xps 15. this one here good keyboard one of the better keyboards i would say it's probably the second best keyboard i've used but the trackpad is not as good as this um yeah it's a little bit behind this one they feel different the keyboard definitely feels different. Now, this is the Rolls-Royce. The ThinkPad is the Rolls-Royce, the X1 Carbon. It's on the sixth generation. It's the GOAT of ThinkPads. Now, of course, the Yoga has some tricks, right? The Yoga can do this. And you'll see here, when I fold like that, the keys go in. The keys go in so the keys don't rattle around. When you unfold it, the keys come out. And you'll be able to use them like that. Now, this is probably why the keyboard isn't as good as that. I wish it sort of had the same keyboard, but I guess it can't sort of do those things. Now, this one can lay flat, you know, all ThinkPads, but this one can flip completely over. And yeah, of course, you can use it in tent mode, you know, presentation mode. There's all sorts of modes there. And yeah, the keys are disabled now. So you can see there the difference in footprint between the two. You know, this one's taller here and, you know, it's a bit wider and it is thicker and heavier. So we're talking the yoga is 1.4 kilos or 3 pounds, just over 3 pounds, 3.08 pounds, 17 millimeters thick compared to the X1 Carbon, which is 16 millimeters thick and 2.41 pounds and 1.13 kilos. The difference is noticeable. I will say you can notice the difference between the two. Now, of course, this being a yoga too, we also do get an active pen, which means, you know, it charges with battery and it charges inside the case there. And we do get a pen there with the actual yoga. So, you know, this has more functionality, it's more versatile, but it does carry that little bit of weight penalty and also battery life. So the Carbon has a 57 watt hour battery and the Yoga has a 54 watt hour battery. So there is a little bit of a difference here. I could get over 10 hour battery runs playing video, you know, YouTube video, streaming video with this X1 Carbon. With the Yoga, I was only able to get around seven hours, just a bit more than seven, seven and a half. So there is a bit of a difference in there. Um, I wouldn't expect 
that much of a difference to be perfectly honest or maybe this just uses more power i had them both set on the same power mode so depending on individual units your mileage may vary certainly both of them have good battery life great battery life but i guess at the end of the day are you going to use this functionality because i'm going to tell you if you're not going to use this functionality the touch display the you know the yoga you know the flipping it around and the actual pen and stuff like that if you're not going to use them get that okay because this is one of the Rolls Royces when it comes to Ultrabooks. It's hard to get better than that. So light, so tough. All the Novos are tough. They're built for business. They are built for toughness. They're probably one of the toughest laptops. They're going to be durable. They're going to last a long time. Now, Lenovo support can be hit and miss in my experience. I haven't had a great experience with Lenovo support, but um, that's just my experience. Some people say it's really great. I can only tell you what I've had. I'm going to do something now that I wouldn't even dream doing with any other laptop bar a ThinkPad, and that's this. I would not do that with any other laptop than a ThinkPad because, quite frankly, it'll break. So super tough. You can rely on them for day in, day out use. The keyboard won't die like a Mac. Um, you're going to get great battery life, super light. And I'll just tell you now, if you're not going to use those features, get that one. You know, I actually bought this one because I thought, yeah, I, I do sign stuff and maybe I'll use the features. Don't know if it's really worth it. I probably should have got that one instead. So I'd like to really thank you guys for watching. That's the comparison between the, all the X1 premium ThinkPad models. Um, I'd have to say they're all good, but this one is special, isn't it? That one's special. And yeah, if you need the versatility, that one is great as well. When it comes to the extreme, I probably think you probably better off going with an xps 15 to be perfectly honest but if you want that legendary look the reliability maybe you want to go with the thinkpad extreme